Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, September 5th, 2023. Let's get into it. Oh, it is. Boy, 53 million views <laughs> on YouTube, <laughs> as it should be. He said it all in that one song. Holy moly. Beautiful. Beautiful what can come out in times of great need. Uh, so I just wanted to get into today's uh, Watching the World Burn uh, video. Uh, just a couple of things. Uh, mainly, I've, I've got a couple good clips that, that we're going to watch on this, uh, this video. Well, the, the first thing I kind of want to warn you about is uh, we are in a real estate crisis. Uh, right now, uh, China, uh, well, you know, Ever, Evergrande, I think that's what it's called. And now there's, there's another real estate company that's going under. Uh, and they've got some major debt coming due here in September. And uh, I don't think, I, I, I think they're going to bankrupt uh, 100%. And uh, China is heavily dependent on real estate, just like we are here in the United States. This is going to have repercussions around the world. So uh, hold on to your bootstraps, man. <laughs> if you're invested in real estate, uh, you know, I hope you sold some of it. Uh, that's just my opinion. Oh, geez, uh, not sure we can talk about these things here on YouTube, but I'm going to give it a shot because I've seen other people talk about it. It just seems like whenever I do, I get a strike. But um, uh, there was a court case that came down. Uh, the FDA uh, recommended against ivermectin as a treatment for um, COVID. And, uh, and evidently now uh, the, the uh, CDC and other uh, institutions are saying that, yeah, it's a possible treatment. For, um, for COVID. So there you go. That horse pill uh, came out. And, and what's going to be interesting is like, can CNN be sued for calling it a horse pill and telling everybody not to take it? Uh, that seems to me like a false thing. Uh, the new COVID shot is coming out. Are you going to get that? I, I, know, I imagine all Democrats will. <laughs> They're going to get the booster to the booster to the booster to the booster to the booster. All Democrats. And, of course, they're going to throw their masks back on. I think there's, what, a couple of colleges now that have decided that they're putting masks back on. I tell you what, it's just uh, it's just crazy. Let's get to the uh, the, the most important video. And, um, well, let's let's get through this, the, the news first. Uh, I thought this was an interesting story on Twitter. Uh, this is by Geoman. Uh, he says, Telegraph channels, two battalions of the armed forces of Ukraine were hospitalized in Kharkiv hospitals due to an outbreak of the Legionnaire's disease uh, epidemic. In the Kharkiv region, the ranks of the Ukrainian formation stationed in the region, uh, an outbreak of a dangerous disease is recorded. Legionnaire's disease, uh, Legion Eliosis, is reported by a number of Telegram channels. So... When you look back on World War I, uh, uh, what was it, the Spanish flu back then? You know, there's always in these terrible conditions when you're in trenches uh, with uh, uh, horrible, horrible uh, conditions, um, you know, these things can happen. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut to the first, I call this the fog of war uh, video clip, uh, because when... When you're in war and when you're in a dystopian type of situation, I mean, it's amazing how the human brain can kind of normalize everything. And you just think, 
no way, no way that this could, could be real. This is like seven minutes, man. I, you know, if you want to fast forward through it to get to the rest of the video, I understand. But I just thought uh, this is a great clip. Let's, let's watch this. <laughs> Аккумуляторы на сколько сейчас хватает примерно? В одну сторону хватает. В одну? Да, в одну. Ну, уже не Это получается сейчас... А? Ну, там дорога убита. Ага. Пластилин. Что-то эвакуационная тележка. Вот она сейчас, несмотря на все минусы, она пацанам очень помогает. Они вот, на всяком случае, мне никто не сказал, что они не нужны. Ну, сама, видишь, ей. Понимаешь? А сами видели вчера вот так вот по 7-8 километров ходить по всей этой не таскать. И когда там мне люди пишут, что нужно четыре колеса. Какие четыре колеса вы видели? Какие условия? Как дороги разбиты? Ну вот сейчас пацаны вот так вот хотя бы в одну сторону провизию, в другую сторону двухсотый, трехсотый. Этого бойца с позывным «Тихий» Андрюха эвакуирует под этот мост. Очень сложно, очень тяжело. И в этот момент ему приходит мысль о том, что нужно делать электротележки. В общем, когда мы находились там в Первомайке, у нас одного из группы с позывным «Тихий» прилетела мина, ему руку сильно разграбила. Но я понимаю, что нужна эвакуационная тележка. Ему не надо было бы самому идти, потому что физически невозможно было его вытащить. Ну вот, три человека, которые шли, двое из них были сами контужены, то есть они сами были только сотые. И физически у нас сил не было бы его, ну, не было его тащить. Если бы была тележка на тот момент, он бы не шел, соответственно, потери крови было бы меньше, и я бы один волоком смог бы его протащить. Силатов вообще тот человек, который смотивировал меня своими фильмами пойти снимать фронтовую документалистику. Давай, вставай, вставай! Чулек! По характеру ранения ему отсекло руку очень высоко, а когда перебивает саму артерию, она сокращается и уходит внутрь. Давай, Давай на То есть это должен был быть ну, очень высокого какого-то класса там тактический медик, который бы, не знаю, раскрыл бы рану, начал выцеплять эту э, артерию и пережимать ее. На тот момент у нас такого специалиста там не было. И более того, я даже сейчас не уверен, смог бы я так ну, отработать. К сожалению, тихий, это взрывной бойца, которого мы выносили, умер. Я потом специально из-за этого пошел на курс тактической медицины, арти, который устраивала. Но даже там, то, что те знания, которые я приобрел, я все равно понял, что ничего бы не сделал. Здорово, пацаны. А? Удобно, парни. Классно. Не, не, нормально. Тележки работают очень хорошо. Кому что, кому деньги. И бы побольше. Никаких спонсоров нету. Это все на деньги моих подписчиков в эксперименты. Вот это все раньше таскалось на своих двоих. Погнали. Да. Ну, разорвавшиеся остатки снарядов. Вот это вот э, вертушки. Скорость у меня была выше, чем сейчас. Я старался проскочить как можно быстрее. Да, да, да. А -а -а. Вон они. Вон они, шлагбаумы. 
Ну, Савин, по-моему, я вот от этой не уворачивался, скорость просто была достаточно высокая. Только железяки засвалялись. И получается, я от нее уклонился. И вот она. Я уворачиваюсь колесом, наехал на одной из этих мин я просто на скорости был. И уже увидел только колесо у меня на нее наехало. Какая-то журналист, а, Надана Фридриксон, по-моему, репостнула э, мой наезд. И типа там начался хайп, что я типа специально наехал. Я проехал по танковой мини, передним колесом. Я живучий. Что могу сказать по поводу того, что я знал или рассчитывал на то, что она не взорвется. Это надо быть конченным идиотом, дебилом, чтобы сейчас вот взять и для эксперимента наехать колесом хотя бы, чтобы проверить, взорвется она или не взорвется. Так опасно стоять сейчас. Они могли бы слепую начать стрелять, если бы слышали двигатели внутреннего сгорания. А так мы беззвучны для них, они не слышат нас. Okay, so that was the Fog of War video clip. And uh, if you look back through my videos, I did a huge uh, clip on Maui. Uh, but before we get to that, let's get into some of my replies on Twitter. Or my X now, I guess I should say. By the way, right now in uh, Maui, I, boy, I hate to, I, it's amazing that the, the first one that popped up, uh, Oprah Winfrey and uh, uh, what, uh, Bill Gates, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, oligarchs that are swooping in to buy up that Maui land now that uh, everybody has burnt to death in there. And uh, so let's, let's just play a clip uh, that I thought was very interesting. I found this on Ukraine updates, uh, Russia-Ukraine updates on Rumble. Check this out. So let's make a video of facts, right? About Maui. What do we do know are facts. We do know that a few months back, the Maui government leaders wanted to turn it in and they signed the paperwork to make Maui the first smart city. But they couldn't do that. Why? Because the locals own most of the land where they wanted to start the smart city. It's been handed down from generation to generation and the local Hawaiians do not want to sell. So, this fire happens. We do know that the police blocked, aided the cars and the local people down on Front Street. They blocked them off. They guided them in direction. There's eyewitness after eyewitness that says that they guided them down that street and blocked that street off with 18 wheelers and patrol cars and then they were nowhere to be seen. We do know that the Hawaiian government shut the water off the day of the fire. And we do also know that they canceled school that day, the same day this is gonna happen. And there was 3,000 students missing and only 1,000 are accounted for. So that means there's still 2,000 children missing. Where do you think they are? No one's talking about that either. None of the government officials. And oh, by the way, all the government officials were all off the island that day. Nice. 
How convenient, right? We know that the police chief is the same police chief that was the chief in the Las Vegas shooting, you know, where there was supposedly millions of rounds of ammunition shot from only one guy from a window. And he was the same guy. And they found nobody, they never closed the case, they never solved anything and got swept under the rug. So he's the same police chief here in Maui who also happened to sign himself up to be the coroner. So he's the only one that can look at the dead bodies, examine them and say how, say how they died. Huh. Isn't that convenient too? Shit is rich right here, right? Rich. And now we also know that after the fires, the elites and, and people like um, Zuckerberg and Oprah are trying to buy the land now for pennies on the dollar. Imagine that. Hmm. Makes you think, right? What else do we know? We know that the military base on the other island is only 15 minutes away. But yet no military personnel showed up in, for a week and a half. How is that? How is that not the day of the fire? The next day, there wasn't thousands of military personnel there to help. The only thing they've seen is FEMA, which we've all heard the stories that they're holding back the water and the food, and all the other stories that we've heard and the facts that we do know about what's really going on. So it's pretty much a shit show. Oh, and the color blue, we've all seen that too. We know that the lasers don't go through blue, and there's two of the biggest lasers in the world, one in Alaska, one in Maui, and all the fires we've seen have done a straight cut line and didn't affect the houses next door. How does that happen? Interesting, wasn't that? So, I'm not sure that guy's completely correct or not, but I mean, I I said, I imagine Oprah's husband is on a mission, because somebody asked, what's Oprah's husband up to right now? And I said, he's probably on a mission to buy up land in Maui. Because <laughs> that's a Democrat state, right? Uh, you know, they, they, they don't give a shit about the people. That's for damn sure. Democrats don't care. Uh, oh, yeah. And then, then another guy, uh, he was talking about uh, people that have Trump stickers when they show up to uh, help. And I thought, well, you know, uh, he says, what would you do if somebody showed up with a Trump sticker? And I said, well, I'd hug them, man, because, you know, it takes a bit of courage uh, to put any sort of Trump paraphernalia on your house or your 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 lawn or your car, because uh, these leftist lunatics, man, they will, they'll, 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 you know, destroy your car, smash your windows in just because you got a Trump sticker there. I still say, uh, and, and I got uh, people that, that hate me for this, but I say that Alex Jones, is a, he's a great controversial voice that needs, or has the right, has been, he's been right about many things, whether you want to love him or hate him. I mean, I, I understand there's a lot of hate for this guy, but he's been right about many things, and I think he's needed uh, in the public debate, and I think, you know, uh, I think Elon might have even let him back on X. I'm not sure yet. I uh, somebody else was commenting about uh, uh, the fact that we've got a lot of human trafficking and coming across the border. And uh, boy, I stirred up a hornet's nest. I said, well, Democrats don't care about human trafficking. <laughs> they want an open border, right? Anybody that can come across that border, they're all for it. Uh, child trafficking, uh, women slaves, you know, that's what Democrats are all about. So what, what can I say? Yeah, and somebody was commenting on the real estate market and that how... And I agree. I mean, I'm sure that across the nation that there's a lot of uh, uh, sections of the country that are going into a major real estate decline. But, man, I'm telling you, here in Central Florida, I hope it comes. I moved here to be in the country. I did not move here to be in a big city. And everywhere I look, there's housing going up. I mean, there's nothing but construction here in Central Florida everywhere. It's unbelievable what's taking place here. And we're just booming here. And I hope it slows down. I don't wish anybody uh, any sort of financial harm, but I just want things to go back to, you know, okay, you build a house here and you tear down a house there. You don't build entire subdivisions and have a million people move in. It's just in in crazy. Yeah, yeah, I, I like what Vivek uh, Rashawami has been has saying about peace in Ukraine. And that's about it. Let's just uh, get to the last video. I always like to finish up with a Russian hardware video, and that's it for, for today. Peace out. Stay free.
Продолжаем. Ирдус, я пасека два наблюдаю выстрел. Огонь! You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later God's gonna cut you down.